Let me at him! Well, there it is. Hello, welcome to a 4 versus 4 random team game. I am, of course, Witty, playing as the Red Undead. That's me. And we are on Deadlands this game. So, the strategy today is from Randolph Ladut08, and he says, I have a strategy for you. Go on dead in balance with Lich and Death Knight, but don't learn Death Coil or Nova on your heroes. Instead, use Necros so that the sacrificial spell that the Death Knight and the Lich have can be used on the skeletons. Well, first things first, that's not undead in balance, then. That's undead shit. But I'll do undead shit, and that's probably what this is going to be called. This is undead shit, because that is terrible. But I will do it anyway, because it's a strategy in its own right, and we're going to try to make it work. But there's not much fucking hope for it, let's face it. Necros. In it. Free heroes, that's a strategy. That's a legit strategy. Free heroes can carry very hard. So hopefully he's got skills what kills to take them. And this guy is awesome. AFK Night Elf, who's probably not going to come back into the game, so this could be a nice little 3 versus 4. So this might be over before it's done. Let's have a look. Need to wait for that cigarette, that beautiful cigarette, to finish. If not, I'm going to just destroy his base and take it. Ah oh, no, he's come back. Shame. Because I was going to send some ghouls over and start destroying that mine. It would be mine, that mine. Shame. Okie doke. So, you want me to go Death Knight and be useless, basically. Just unholy aura. I've got to go ghouls so I can get the tech going. So, you say undead in balance. Maybe you were inferring to sort of a... Uh, Fiends and Frostworms, but you can't really go Fiends and Frostworms as well as trying to get the Necromancers in there as well, unless you have like another expansion and everything is going really great for you. Maybe I can fit those in later, but not straight away, that's for sure. Sort of get a lot of health back or a lot of mana back from a Frostworm if I need to take it. Right, let's get an Acolyte out when this cigarette is finished and try to aim for that expansion, maybe in the middle. Should really get a. Uh, yeah, I'll get a graveyard actually, thinking about it. Graveyard, 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 graveyard. Just so I can get uh, towers at an expansion potentially. I need to get the tech and everything else that goes with it. It's unholy aura, baby. It's going to be really difficult for me to not, not get death coil. It's just going to be a passive, passive thing that I'm going to do. Most definitely. It's going to be genuinely difficult for me to just refuse, flat out refuse to do that. I'll just leave the ghouls in the wood for the moment because they're chilling, they're happy. No need to rush into this expansion just yet. The graveyard's not even up, so can't even get too much. These ghouls can help me creep, though. Could do a little orange creep camp, meanwhile, and then come back and heal up a little bit whilst massing more ghouls. That sort of thing, that sort of cheeky cheeky business. Send the Death Knight in first, get some damage taken from him. Go, go, go. That's a lot of bloodlust. We're going to have to deal with this game. Bloodlust, that's very nasty indeed. Don't have to deal with that so early on. Dude is going down though. Oh dear, one ghoul's gone down. I didn't I couldn't find the other ghoul in time. And another ghoul goes down. Bloodlust, you so nasty. Ghouls, you so shit. Okay, what's next to die? Skeleton, so this ghoul needs to get back before he gets focused by the nasty bloodlust fuckers. More ghouls. Thank you, Blade Master. I needed your help. Cheers. Okay. He also took a rod of necromancy with fucking bastard. Okay, let's get tech going. Because I'm not going to sit around spamming up uh, ne uh, acolytes because it's going to take too long. I need to get tech going whilst at the same time an expansion would be great. There's a lot to accomplish with this. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Let's get the gold mine first. Work on that. See if I can keep my skeletons. Nope. Fuck off. Fucking purple. 
serious leech. If he fucking takes the items, I'm just gonna straight up team kill him. Fucking did take it. Took the gauntlets of strength. Yeah, I'm not fucking shy to fucking start TKing you. I know when you're taking the piss. Okay, we want to upgrade because ghouls, necromancers, skeletons. Fucking hell, this guy is such a burden! I'm gonna just seriously TK this guy. He's fucking useless to me. We could do with him, just not on the team. I actually have to come back here and fucking kill those skeletons. Never mind. What a fucking idiot. I'll just stay back. They're gonna mana burn shitloads from me. I ain't using no mana. I think. Orange just lost his hero as well, so that's good. Well, We're dealing with some classy orc allies here. I'm gonna send my ghouls back because I don't think we'll even be able to create this. Fuck them, they're gonna just die anyway. Right, let's get Rod of Necromancy or Temple of Necromancy, whatever you want to call it. Get all that kind of good stuff coming in. Start working towards that. Sell this scroll. No one wants that scroll. Some extra cash for me. Get four acolytes. And then the lich is next. Next! <laughs> lich, you're next. Let's do this. Good, he's fast taking to tier three with not even any towers. Yep, that's the caliber. That's the caliber right there. You set your benchmark at that. And you work forwards. I've got enough wood because of this stupid amount of ghouls I got still alive and on wood. So that's going to sort me out for any sort of like research purposes later on in the game. So it's pretty good. Uh, not sure really how far I'm going to go with ghouls other than just having them so there's something that can die. You know, to death backed. I should keep this one ghoul, like my lieutenant or something. Nearby me. Right. Summoning is in fact, upgrade them first before we go into them. Stand ready. Don't want them leeching all the mana as well. Because that's going to be a burden. I wish Catchphrase of the day. Burden. Death Knight's just going to scout. There's not much else he can do. My patience has ended. You call. Okay, so we've got an expansion here. But no acolytes on it. That is a very open expansion. Right. Here we go. Now I TK. Not living up to his name. I'm just going to solo DPS this acolyte. Looks like they're going for attack, so we're, we're fucked. Let's get some units ready then to try and deal with this. That expansion's gone. Hey, I got my level 3. That means level 2 death pack. Fucking hell, that's terrible. Jeez. I gladly obey. Must be removed. Research complete. Must be upgrade from this better. My vengeance is yours. This is a nuisance, isn't it? Drags them back. And their bases, they don't want to interfere. They don't want to take it on. And we're out of here. It's been fun. See you later. I can't even coil him, so I may as well fucking kill him. Because <laughs> he's just going to deny experience. Okay. Probably Frostworms then. So I'm not going to be able to do anything about those Frostworms, really. Not realistically. Sorks. 
Let thy bidding, master. Thy will be done. Must be. This better be good. What does the shadow mean? Summoning the shadow of the fate. The restless dead awaits. The dead shall serve. Our power is under attack. Feel my wrath. Our forces are under attack. I the Shit. Pull back. Wait. What does the shadow do? The dead shall serve. And human go and workshop tanks, morts, that sort of thing. Our forces are under attack. My patience has ended. The shadow, the dead shall serve. This better be good. The dead shall serve. Time to get the lich. Gonna have to be dealing with the human, possibly getting priests. Could be a nuisance. We need expansions, more expansions for our team. They've got two. Almost soon to get abomination to say. I guess some meat wagons in there as well, but I'm not sure what purpose they're gonna bring other than getting slaughtered by mass frostworms. He's tier three now. But he actually hasn't built anything with this tier 3. Was he the triple hero guy? You call it yeah. Let you come out and be able to get the orb. If I can get some holy, holy frenzy on these. Do some damage. It is kind of TK in the women's a little bit, but unholy frenzy is pretty badass. Nice. Get in there. Get in there. Get them. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. They're over here. 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 Not stop attacking. Oh, you know, Orange, you're the best in the world. Orange, fucking move your women's. They're getting crushed. Jesus Christ. This is so one sided. So one sided. Ah, oh, this is on another level of one sidedification. I didn't even want to catch her. An allied hero has been killed. An allied hero has been killed. What does the shadow This I don't think he's even literally looking at the screen. He's probably watching a football game or something. What does the shadow I don't. I can't win with allies like this. Especially when I do these strategies that are support style. You know what I mean? I've lost. I have to be the guy that goes to Frostworms. I have to be the guy that goes to Fiends because my allies are always fucking shit. So if I don't do that, we have a hundred percent lost. Because you can't fucking depend on them for shit when you do these kind of support style strategies. They are fucking useless. Here we go. What's purple got ready for us? An allied hero has been What does the shadow do? Our reverend town is under attack. I am this. This my vengeance is. Gonna have to do some kick ass teleport. Can't save them all though. Orange, we fucking so lost this. Purple, Blue's not even used any of his units. He just sit. These are the worst people in the world. What does the shadow do? I even got any ghouls. My patience has ended. As the shadow of the darkness guides you. My patience has 
I can't even death coil my lich because he's getting he's getting focused by a blade master. GG, GG lich. I can't even death coil. Yeah, this is kind of what I expect to go with this kind of strategy. We have to do something before they get the proper counters and everything. Come on, Pip Hop. What does the shadow is? My We just gotta keep fucking teleporting back over and over. This better. As the shadow wins, our brethren's town is under attack. As you order. What does the shadow do? Our power is under attack. The rest is behind the swing. Our reverence power is under attack. My patience has ended. Yours to darkness. I wish only to serve. Yes, my point of the shadow. What can he do? We've lost. They're better than us. We just have to go and fucking make some sort of use out of this piece of shit. Unwinnable. Unwinnable. Oh, I was you trying to use my death coil conversion thing? I used it on the necromancer there and he was too far away, so the death knight was going boop, boop, boop. Change to this, but unfortunately, lag and also slack. Good combination of the two. Yeah, this was absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. I think this might officially be me signing off saying I will never, ever, ever do a strategy that is even remotely along the lines of support. It is impossible with Warcraft 3, 4 versus 4 RT these days. You cannot support allies. They will 100% let you down. It is literally impossible. It is no longer a feasible consideration. No more support. No more Banshees. No more Necromancers. No more of that shit. Beans, Frostworms. You have to do it or you've lost. It's as simple as that. You cannot depend on these pieces of fucking shit. They are absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. Well, there it is. Fantastic game. Pretty much what I expected from a support style game there. So let's never do one of those again. <laughs>